Hey student, in this lesson, I'm going to show you one structure the native speakers use all the time in conversations, and so should you. <laughs> If you don't know me very well, I am Teacher Briggs, and I'm going to help you talk to anyone, anywhere, anytime in English. Make sure to subscribe to my channel because every week, my friend, I work hard, I do my very best to bring you English lessons that will help you become a more confident, that will help you become a better and more confident English speaker. <laughs> If you have already done so, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Enjoy the lesson, participate, and let's get to work, okay? Grammar in use, have and get something done. Causatives. What is that? And I even put a cat, a little cat, like, what? What is this? Causatives, you gotta know how to use that, my friends. And you know, it's interesting because here on my channel, I basically help pre-intermediate and intermediate students who need to get better. You need to improve. You are stuck and you need more. Maybe you can understand me very well. You can speak a little, uh, but you need more. Okay, you're not a beginner anymore and you want to keep going, but you don't know how to keep going so that you can go from stuck to speaking as fast as you can. And guys, at this level, if you want to get out of the pre-intermediate zone, you need to use grammar, okay? That's basically, basically what I do with my students. So you gotta use the grammar you study. So one thing that I love doing with my babies in my academy, by the way, my academy is open right now, okay? Make sure to join. But let me focus on what I do and then I'll teach you the grammar and I'll ask you to do a few things, okay? Stay with me until the end. Basically with my babies, in every module of the academy, they have a grammar lesson. There's something in terms of grammar for them to learn. But what is my favorite part? It's what they do with the grammar. Because to learn a lesson... I must use it. I always rub my hand when I am saying something important that I want my brain to remember. To learn a lesson, I must use it. So my students use the grammar they learn, use the words they learn. So they post to me examples and I get to give them feedback. Like this is screenshot. Maybe it's too small for you. You can't read. But here, there are some examples from my babies using the grammar, the vocabulary they are learning. So they post their examples using the grammar, connecting with their lives. That is a recommendation I give all of them. And after that, I get to give them feedback. I get to help them correct their mistakes so that they can speak more clearly anywhere, anytime. So at this level, you need to know how to use grammar in your favor. It's not only watch this lesson and go, but how can I use this lesson and create things, talk about things connected with my life and use this grammar lesson that I am learning, that I am studying. And that's what I do with my students in my academy. They have grammar. They need to use grammar. They have vocabulary lessons. They got to use vocabulary. They have speaking exercises. They have to speak anyone, anywhere, anytime. But anyway, let's keep rolling. Causative, what is that? Causative, it, it's usually a verb, okay? We use a causative verb when we would like to talk about something that another person, okay? That someone else did for us or for another person, okay? So what is that supposed to mean? Basically, I'm talking about something that was for me, okay? The action was for me, but I didn't do it. Okay, another person did this for me because I want it or because I need it. <laughs> so in this case, I didn't do it by myself. Okay, another person did it for me or because it was a favor or because it was a service. Okay, so money, I paid someone to do something for me. And when we are talking about that in English, We have a different structure. 
But let's look at the normal way to say something like this, okay? A, a, a regular phrase. Take a look at the example on the screen. I painted my bedroom last weekend, the bedroom walls. So this is a typical example. I did it. I painted the walls. I got the paint, you know, the paint brushes, and I painted the walls in my bedroom. Oh my goodness, it was awesome. I did it. This is regular, okay? Normal example. But when I am using the causative structure, pay attention at the difference. I had my bedroom painted. Ah, ta da! <laughs> I would never. Oh, did you know that I painted this wall? Yes, it was me! <laughs> I painted this wall! Yes! You know, I asked my father to help me because my father does a better job than me. But painting this wall was different from me, for him. You know, it was a new technique. So I did it. Yes, I painted the wall. <laughs> so here, the example of the causative. I had my bedroom painted, okay? So here, in this example, when I am using the causative structure, I didn't paint. In this example, okay? I had my bedroom painted. I didn't do it. It's my bedroom. It's for me. But I didn't do it. Someone else, another person did it for me. Okay? So, this structure is very common when I am talking about services. When I pay someone to do things for me. Okay? Or when someone does it for free. Another person is helping me, providing me some kind of support. Okay? If I know, like, let's say my friend painted my wall, I don't need to say, I, uh, I, no, I just say my friend painted my, painted my walls, painted my house, painted my bedroom. So here, my neighbor painted my bedroom, a friend painted my bedroom. So I know the person, I don't need to use causative. But when I use causative, I am focusing on what happened. Someone did something for me. I had my room painted, okay? Let's keep rolling. So, what is the structure? In this case, you will need the verb have, okay? There is another option I will show you. So, you need the verb have plus the object, my room, the car, my nails, my hair, my car, okay? What is the object you need? And then the past participle, the verb of the action, fixed, painted, done, bought, refurbished, redecorated, cleaned. You need a verb. And this verb will be in the third column. Remember, go in the past, went, in the participle, gone. And I have videos here on my channel where I teach that, okay? Do in the past, did, in the participle, done. Teacher, what if it's a regular verb? It's the same. Paint. In the past, painted. In the participle, painted. Okay? So, you will always use this verb, conjugation, this, uh, yeah, this conjugation with this structure. Have and have can be in the present, can be in the future, can be in the continuous. It depends on the situation. That's what I always tell my babies inside the academy. When they create examples for me. Okay, when my babies create examples for me on the platform, I always tell them, where is the situation? Where's the context? You want to use this in the present? Okay, but what is the situation? You want to use this in the present? Perfect. Okay, but what is the situation? What is the context? So that's very important. Okay, now we usually use have something done when we are paying someone to do something. Okay. So, subject, I, John, Mary, my sister, my friend, have, in the present, in the past, in the future, continuous, object, the thing, the door, the house, my car, my house, my wall, my bedroom, and the verb in the participle. This verb is representing the action, okay? That is very, very important, all right? Now, more examples. And pay attention to the colors, you know, that really helps. <laughs> I had simple past. I had my car washed last weekend. Mm -hmm. I don't have a car. This is just an example, okay? 
<laughs> my sister, this is true actually. My sister had her shower fixed yesterday. Not yesterday, it was a few weeks ago, but this this example is true for me. It's connected with my life, but it was a few weeks ago. My sister had her shower fixed a few weeks ago. I had my entire apartment redecorated. Oh, if I want to say this in the future, I can. Oh, I'm having, with present continuous, I'm having my entire apartment redecorated. <laughs> so fancy. And what is the idea? I'm saying that in the future, very soon, I'm planning, I'll be paying a company, I'll be paying someone to do all the decoration of my apartment again. If I want to say this in the future, oh, I'm having my entire apartment redecorated. Really? Oh my God. Good for you, girl. Thank you. <laughs> this is true for me, okay? I have my nails done every Friday. Okay, not hair, nails, okay? This is true. I have my nails done every Friday. I cannot say I do my nails because I'm not a manicure and I don't know how to do my nails by myself, okay? I can't do my nails. I don't know how to do my nails, but I have my nails done every Friday. Mm -hmm. Every Friday morning, I go to the beauty salon, I talk to my manicure, we chat and she does my nails and then they look pretty and then I get to work. <laughs> all right, all right. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. You know, it really helps when you share, when you subscribe, when you participate. Because I come here for you guys, okay? And as I have been saying, the Academy, my program, is officially open. So there's still time to participate, okay? Participating in my online program, becoming a BSA. But let's keep rolling. Teacher, how about get? Mm, get is a good option too. I can also use the same structure with the verb get. But teacher... What's the difference? Mm, the difference is formality, okay? You are going to express the same idea. It's the same idea, same structure. But when you use get, it's a little less formal, okay? You can use have, no problems. But you can also use get, and get is a little less formal formal okay so i get my nails done every friday okay my students from the academy my babies my bsa baby sardine in the area get their examples checked on the platform this is true okay so my students from the academy get their examples checked on the platform if they participate they get corrections, comments. I love giving my students feedback, okay? And remember, to learn a lesson, I must use it. I want you to post one example here in the comments, okay? Practice, study. It's very important. A few more examples. I will get my hair done next week. Hmm, awesome. My parents got their TV fixed. I get my nails done every Friday. So these are good examples for you to use, okay? And guys, this structure is common, but as I always teach my students, they are used in specific situations, okay? That's very, very important. Anyway, my students, make sure to subscribe, share this lesson with your friends, but other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, bye-bye.